Good evening and welcome. This evening I'm taking advantage of our shelter in place situation and I'm going to make a cuckoo clock. I should mention it's 11 o'clock at night. Recently, actually, we, we got it from a neighbor who was going to chuck it. Um, I took the drawers out of that, and on the inside, I discovered this beautiful finished plywood. So the outside stained to look like something beautiful, but the inside is this plain, beautiful finished plywood. So on the table saw, uh, I, sh I should mention it's 11 o'clock at night. On the table saw, I ripped all the rough edges off so that I had perfectly clean wood to work with. I first replaced my table saw blade, which had 28 teeth, with one that has 80 teeth. So it cuts a much finer edge and gives you a finished edge when you're done, so you don't flake the edges of your plywood open. I made first the face pieces because I was uh, I want to get that cuckoo clock silhouette. This angle is roughly I don't know uh, I using some of the scrap I created very skinny pieces that are roughly square, uh, the, de the width of the plywood, and then roughly the width of the plywood again, so that I could use it as nailers put on either side of the interior of the clock, so that I don't have the nail from the outside for anything. Should be able to create this clock without seeing any nail. All right, next I created walls again using pieces of the drawer and my very lovely cutting blade, a blade, I created the walls. And then using very sophisticated math, which looks something like this, a little more, a little more, I created a roof that should roughly peak together. So there you have it. I have, uh, I'm wearing black rubber gloves because of the adhesive I'm using. I'm using Gorilla Glue to hold the joints, only because I ran out of wood glue. Clearly a well thought out project. Um, I bought a selection of walnut. Which is it's a naturally dark wood with beautiful grain. So even if I just hit that with some tongue oil, it'll draw the natural grain out of it beautifully. This is a project I've been thinking about doing for, uh, I would say, to, to be conservative. I've been thinking about it since roughly maybe 2013. Let's take a look. There we go. One and one quarter. Mm -hmm. Thinking that's going to go through. Let's take a look. Yes. That'll go through. If I have a one inch nail, I might have some luck. All right. Well, let's see if five eighths will bridge that gap. I don't think it will. Awfully close to the width. Ah! <laughs> Awfully close to the width of the thing I have cut. It is. All right. So I've come to a point in the project. I may need to use a little creative thinking. Why not use some screws? I can use some screws. I keep a bin of screws, as one should, of many projects, all the little bits that are left over from stuff that I haven't used before. And as you can see, the bin has become quite full, mainly with drywall type screws, but also with a lot of picture frame screws and where's my other magnet bowl? There it is. Mainly drywall type screws, but also some picture frame screws, which is what these are. I will drill a hole in there ever so carefully. I want to try to match the radius of, or the I want to try to match the diameter of the screw. 
closely, but not too closely. And by pre-drilling both the piece and the both pieces, I should be able to avoid having anything split. Make sure my wood is set flush. There we are. Nice. Low speed drill setting. That's the one. Let me put the screw in. Ever so carefully. torque it because I really don't need oops I killed a fly poor fly I don't need a lot of strength out of the screw what I'm looking for mainly is for the screw to hold my glue in place for now so that I can keep them working there we are that is one which I can put in place already. Uh oh. Oh, say it ain't so. Got some glue on the surface of my table, which now is on the surface of my project. That would be a pro tip. Pro tip! Make sure you don't have glue on your surfaces. Your bead of glue on your surfaces. And just put my lid on the glue. There we go. This will be my first time using Gorilla Glue on wood. Let's see how it goes. If you have any comments on that, I'll let me know. Uh, could I run under normal circumstances to Walmart right this minute at midnight and get wood glue? Yes, I can. Being under the COVID-19 shelter in place order, however, I cannot do that. There go. There you go. I am here using drill. One of the dynamics that work in my shop is that this huge work table you see before you was just completed day before yesterday. So we're on the shelter in place order. Feels like a lockdown, but I hate to call it that because I'm not sure that's what it actually is. During the shelter in place order, my oldest son, who is this kind of guy in the first place, said to me, hey, we used to have a a very tall A-frame here that kept full pieces of plywood on it, uh, like 10 or 15 of them that are for hurricane shutters. He said, what if we remake that whole table, or that whole A-frame into a table? And the reason I said yes is because we now have added space in our garage where that camera's sitting on top of a trailer that's becoming our camper. And so we don't need the space on the A-frame anymore because we can put all our hurricane shutters under the camper on the floor. So he made this huge bench. He and his younger brother, the two of them together, made this huge bench. So now, these tools, as you see, all my tools are on shelves and I pull them off and put them back when I'm done. Now I can sort of leave a mess out here and work all at once. It's the first time in my adult life. I'm gonna need a battery. It's the first time in my adult life and it's beautiful. I love it. I was taught in my early woodworking days, if you can use a jig, you should use a jig. So in this case, 
I'm using the piece I just cut. I cut one of the same one. Now let me find the base. Using my base. It's all about the base. <laughs> I have this tiny little square. Penny, my woodworking helper. Looks like she wants to go in. You want to go in? I think she likes the air conditioning better, which I do too. Which I do too. Now, is that going to fit a one and one quarter inch nail? I don't think so. Negative. We'll definitely puncture the bottom. Air go. There you go. And we'll drill. And we'll drill and put screws. Why? Because I have so many screws, I may as well use more screws from special bags. This must have come with some... I don't, I don't even know what they would come with, honestly. But I want to get these put in place. Oi! Oh, hey, yeah, oh, yeah, hot positive. Uh, It seems more cuckoo clockish to have brass screws in it than it does to have nails, brad nails. Seems like old German families in the Black Forest in 1750 would have said, Mine, brad nails we can't do anymore. They will think we are cheap. All right, good to go on that one. Shoot. Now I put that in there with the bajillion nails, if I like, which I do. <laughs> and a bunch of glue. Interestingly, this Gorilla Glue, which as I said I've never used before, is turning white as it dries. Uh, not what I expected, because it's sort of translucent clear like the, well, like the color of the headlights from uh, 1993. Dodge Caravan because you know they turn yellow. pretty excited because I've been picturing this for what do we say 2014 roughly um, and it is now 2020 so seven years I bought this wood seven years ago that's what happens when you get old is time doesn't matter as much for you and it's like I bought this and I'm gonna make a cuckoo clock <laughs> well in this case I have done and here it is what I'll do is uh, create, I would like to have a little guy drinking some beer down here, some piles of wood over here with a guy chopping an axe, maybe a balcony with some uh, girls hanging out doing whatever girls do, and then the, a little balcony here with maybe some dancers going around. Now, it all might just be static and there for, for looks. It may have no functionality whatsoever. I may just get a quartz movement for it throw it in there and be done because I honestly this is far outside our, our budget this cost me nothing to this point these nails literally these nails I use I've had in my possession since 1992 roughly uh, when I was a kid I bought a ton of tools to prepare for adulthood because I knew you know newlyweds never have any money so maybe I should have tools now and I did I bought an entire complement of tools which I've since 
upgraded and added to, but many of the tools that you see behind me I've had since 1992, 93, and 94. When as a kid, thinking way ahead. Now, I wasn't thinking about making a cuckoo clock at that point. We, I grew up with a cuckoo clock, a little one in our living, uh, dining room, which almost never was wound. It worked just fine. The, the way it was handed to me by my mom was, it doesn't work right. Now that I'm all grown up and have done enough research on clocks, it did work right. It's just that it was an eight hour movement. Uh, I think she thought it was supposed to be 24 hours. And sometimes we think stuff erroneously. It is what it is. I'm quite, I'm well pleased. Well pleased. I need to get some sandpaper in these corners. The dog is standing there looking at me like, hey, can we work together on, on getting this door open over here? <laughs> there would be no end to the finished sanding and to this little figuring, making, and whatnot. This project will just go on now for years. In fact, I bet you my kids, when I die, this will still be sitting here looking largely as it does now. <laughs> Honestly, who am I kidding? There's little figurines, probably half carved, sitting in piles. And then maybe one of them will get nostalgic and say, oh, I want to finish that clock that started way back when we lived in blah, blah, blah. Back in the pandemic of 2020, there's nothing like a finely sanded finished plywood. This stuff is beautiful. Man, so pleased with it. I will most likely buy a scroll saw. So I can sit out here and cut me some trees and deer and little German tables. <coughs> well, gotta go show Lynn's. I'll be right back. Hey, doggy. All right, now it's time for the cleanup. Lindsay was asleep and did not get to see the clock. Housing, the clock housing. That should be specific. All right, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Keep your eyes open for the next time I have a harebrained idea at midnight. <laughs>